So we have tickets to the papal audience tomorrow. So we're going to the Vatican and leaving here at 5 a.m. to go get good spots to see Papa Frankie. It is currently 11.30 at night. I am going to hate myself in the morning. I'm gonna see the Pope! So excited! Yeah, I hate myself. I might have gotten three hours of sleep last night. It's all for the Pope. So it's gonna be cold and rainy and I'm wearing my yellow rain boots. I think Papa Francis will understand <laughs> my need for them. It's five o'clock in the morning and the buses don't run until 5.30. So we're calling a cab and we're splitting it for a couple euros between the four of us to get down there and make sure we get spots. And then it's waiting outside. Yay! You ready, Natalie? You ready? You I'm ready? so ready. You ready? These are all loyal of people. Layer these on Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, we can make a little hood and we'll gather some warmth. It's <laughs> like Black Friday, but Catholic. <laughs> Sun's out. I thought you just picked up. From the United States of America, students and faculty from Loyola University. This is the first commandment with a promise, that it may be well with you, and that you may raise the second part of the reflection on the figure of the father in the family. The last time I have spoken about the risk of the parents absent. Today, I want to look at the positive aspect. Most Holy Father, the English-speaking visitors and pilgrims present today wish to express to you their sentiments of respect and esteem and to assure you of their prayers for your ministry as the successor of Peter. The Holy Father will then impart his apostolic blessing, which he willingly extends to the members of your families at home. The following is a summary of the Holy Father's words this morning. Dear brothers and sisters, in our catechesis on the family, we have been reflecting on the dignity and role of fathers. The book of Proverbs speaks of the joy and pride which fathers feel as they see their children mature in wisdom and rectitude. <coughs> These words sum up the demanding but indispensable role of fathers in the family and in society as a whole. 
A good father teaches his children by giving a daily example of love and integrity. He must first discipline his own heart in order to deal patiently with his children in their growth to maturity. In a society like our own, where father figures are often absent, it is essential for fathers to be present and fully engaged in the life of the family. Jesus points to God our Father as the model of all fatherhood. Like the father of the prodigal son, God waits patiently for his children to return home. With mercy and forgiveness, he is always there to welcome them back whenever they stray. As Christian fathers, like Saint Joseph, to protect their children and to teach them wisdom, faith and integrity, may they always experience our gratitude, appreciation and support. Saluti pellegrini di lingua inglese e presenti all'odierna udienza, specialmente quelli provenienti da Inghilterra, Gales, Finlandia, Sri Lanka e Stati Uniti d'America. Su voi e sulle vostre famiglie invoco la gioia e la pace nel Signore Gesù. Dio benedica. taking part in today's audience, including those from England, Wales, Finland, Sri Lanka and the United States of America. Upon you and your families, I cordially invoke joy and peace in the Lord Jesus. God bless you all. ...mit ihr zu teilen und den Kindern zugeneigt zu sein. Das Evangelium stellt uns die Beispiele... How was your experience with the Pope? He's so freaking cute. He's so short. I don't want him to be my grandpa. <laughs> so that happened. I'm really tired. I'm so tired. It's 11.30. We've been up for like seven hours. It's cool. We're gonna sleep. We're gonna go to bed. But it was worth it. It was pretty magical. He's so cute. I love him.